Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and I'm bringing you the EDCC. That's Everyday City Carry. Now, to me, the most important spec in a knife is the price. And this knife is priced quite well. If you've been on this channel before, you know what time it is. It's time for what's dope about it, what's whack about it, or if you should forget about it. What's dope about it? Let me start off by saying, the action on the Wii Knives Wreck is absolutely insane. I just love carrying this knife, carried it all week. Wii Knives, you've got a new fan for sure. So the blade stock on the Wreck is very very thin, as uh, Slicey Dicey mentioned in his review. And from what I've been getting from the other reviewers is that Wii Knives usually has a very thick blade stock. Not on the Wreck though, this thing is super thin. I don't know a lot about Wii Knives. All I know is now they're Mii Knives, because I love this thing. So excellent choice on using a thin blade stock, giving the knife excellent slicing capability. Let's check out the stamps real quick. What stamps? There's absolutely only two stamps that are visible on the entire knife, including the handles. There's absolutely nothing on the blade. You've got the Wii Knives logo opposite of the pivot, and you've got the Wii Knives logo on the pocket clip. That's it. You other knife companies, take note. This is how you should do it. You've got a drop point with a hollow grind, and I picked the black blade with a sand finish. Really great looking. It's sort of got this little, I don't know what to call this. You guys know I'm not a spec spurt, but it's got this little like swedge here. Now the Wreck has blue hardware, and as mentioned by Slicey Dicey, at first I didn't agree with him. He sort of said that the blue hardware looks weird on the green G10. I kind of agree with that now. So I asked Mariah to do some renditions of the knife with different color hardware, and they came out pretty dope. For the handle material, you got G10 and titanium. You got titanium on the clip side, and G10 on the show side, both with excellent finishes. The G10 is grippy without being too aggressive. Now for the jimping, you've got jimping on the flipper tab and the thumb ramp. Both are not too aggressive. Let's compare it with the Aeroblade Mini. I just said Aeroblade Mini. I mean Booze Blades Aero Mini. On the Aero Mini, I pretty much got some flesh chunks stuck on the flipper tab there. On the Wii Knives Wreck, flesh is intact. What's whack about it? Now the pocket clip is one of the downsides on this knife. It's pretty whack. It's got a lot sticking out there, which you can see. I don't think everyone's gonna like the lanyard hole on this knife. I don't mind it too much, especially since it's integrated into the backspacer. I'm not a lanyard guy, but I'm sure that some people are gonna complain about that. Now this is being nitpicky. The frame lock can be a bit stiff. Once you get it past the detent, you're good to go. Now here I'm showing that sometimes I'll disengage the knife real smooth, but sometimes I sort of get stuck on the detent there, and I've got to just continue to push through that detent. Now the number one whack thing, and I really had to nitpick about the other whack stuff about this knife, but the whackest, and I mean the whackest thing about this knife, is the name. We knives, however you guys do this, you get a board and you guys just come up with stuff, you know? You sort of brainstorm or whatever, fire that guy. So do you forget about it? Hell no. I carried this thing for a straight week, and I want to carry it again next week. I feel bad knowing that I can't carry it, because I gotta review other sh**. Wee Knives, this is a shout out to you guys. In just two knives, you took the number one slot in my list of top Chinese knife companies. First with your manufacturing of the Booze Blades Aero Mini, and now the Wee Knives Rec. Hats off to you guys. I was already convinced that Chinese knife companies stepped their game up, but you guys are on a whole other level. This is your boy the NYC, it's me Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace.